Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another unboxing and review. We have from 21st Century Toys, The Ultimate Soldier, German Infantry NCO, Normandy. Let's go ahead and get started. <music> This figure is from 2000, the year 2000, and again, it's 21st Century Toys, the Ultimate Soldier, German Infantry, non-commissioned officer, Normandy. And it is a part of their Ultimate Soldier, right? World War II, Series 1 collection and let's go ahead and take a look at this packaging here we have again the ultimate soldier logo here's the title german infantry nco normandy you have this artwork here beaches of normandy and again the ultimate soldier world war ii series one logo and if we turn the side here it is an actual image of the figure right here. Same thing is going to be the back side of the figure right here. You can see it. And then when we go to the back, we have this right here. And we have some great, great, great images of some of the action figures that are a part of this collection here and him right here being selected here but and then some more modern and then some combat vehicles down here at the bottom let me go ahead and bring in a little closer so that you can get an idea of what they have here and then these are the other figures as well and trying to figure out here if we open this up here here we have again an image showing the beaches of Normandy right now down here it says Wehrmacht is that what that says is that how it's pronounced I don't know but June 6 1944 and then here's the information or here is the figure with all his accessories now if I turn it around the back, we get to see here what this figure comes with. And here we are. It says M42 helmet, MP40, MP40 magazine pouch, M39 stick grenades, bread bag, mess kit, gas mask canister, entrenching tool, K98 bayonet. K98 scabbard and frog, jack boots, German Y strap belt and buckle, 43 tunic with silver trim, and splinter camo pants and helmet cover. Those are all the items that this figure comes with. So let's go ahead and unbox him and we'll check him out. I went ahead and removed everything out of the packaging. Again, we get to see the M42 helmet here. It's got a nice camo pattern. There it is. We've got the MP40 right here. Right? He's got a magazine that uh, goes with it, right? Here's the magazine right there. Get to see the rounds in there. And then you've got the MP40 magazine pouches right here. There's two of them. Right? They attach to his belt. Um, then you get to see the M39 stick grenades right here. Here they are. His stick grenades. Right? There's two of them. 
Then we also have a bread bag right here. Okay. Then we have his uh, mess kit, which is right in here. I'm not going to open it up to see if there's something in there. It doesn't feel like it is, but there it is, right? He's got his uh, gas mask canister right here, right? He's got a nice little strap that goes with it. Then he's got the entrenching tool, right? Look at the detail on that. He's got the K98 uh, bayonet with the scabbard right here. There's the K98 uh, bayonet with the scabbard. It's right there. Let's see if I can get that out. Let's do that here. And let's see. Let's get it out. Will it come out? It doesn't want to difficult to come out it might be stuck in there but uh, there it is right it's the frog right here mm -hmm. right nice 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 right there it is right He's got also that comes with it. Again, you get to see his uh, jack boots right here that he's wearing, right? He's got that German Y strap, right? There it is at the back of it. There it is, the Y, right? He's got um, his tunic, right? There's his tunic right there. You get to see his uh, rank and all his uh, insignia on him, right? Then he's got the splinter camo pants, right? Right. Okay, and then, of course, the camo matches the helmet cover that he has here, right? His helmet cover. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure a little closer. Again, start off with the face sculpt right here. Nice, nice face sculpt here. See the coloring on it right there. And turns, turns all the way around. He goes up and down a little bit, right? He's got some good articulation on the neck, right? Let's fix this collar here. There's a chance to fix this collar. Right there. Okay. And his hands are a little hard, soft. They're not very soft, but they're a softer type uh, plastic. His wrists will turn, but that's it. That's all the articulation is turns. He doesn't have any other type of move. Well, he does have this kind of movement a little bit. Let's take a look at his arms. There. He does go back. His elbows, right? Right here. And you get to see he's got some snaps on his uniform there. You can see the articulation points, the joints there on his uh, his wrist. Same thing for all the arms. Let's take a look at the waist, down and back, right? His legs go up, out, his knees bend right there, and he's got movement on his legs here and his ankles here to here. But it's, uh, same thing here movement. He can sit with his legs here, here, right? Very good, very good. Very nice, very nice figure. Let's go ahead and put him back. Here he is, right? German 
Infantry NCO Normandy. And here he is. All decked out with all, well, most of his accessories here. I put some grenades back here. There's one in the front. He's got his ammo pouches there. And he's got his weapon there ready, helmet on. And there he is. Let's go ahead and do some comparisons. <clears throat> here he is, right here, standing next to a dragon figure, a dragon German figure. Here's an action man, a U.S. Marine figure, vintage figure. Here is a, the interactive soldier, right? And here is a more modern version of uh, the Medal of Honor winner, uh, G.I. Joe. From their version and then I also have this guy right here who's a um, from the soldiers of the world line and see how he scales compared to to them he doesn't fit in there but I uh, I'll uh, keep him out but uh, there he is just so that you can see how he scales with the other types of uh, GI Joes that I have or uh, one six scale 12 inch uh, action figures that are in my collection That's all I have for this video. My look at 21st Century Toys, the Ultimate Soldier, German Infantry, NCO, Normandy. Let me know in the comments down below, do you have this figure? What do you think of this figure? Or is it one that you're uh, looking out for? Or is it one that you have maybe from the back, the, the collection that's in the back that I showed earlier? Do you have any of those soldiers? Either way, this figure here from 21st Century Toys back in 2000, again, figure is over almost 25 years old. And um, glad to add him to my collection, to my German soldier collection. And um, again, thank you so much for watching my video. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel doesn't cost anything it's free and it uh, helps the channel tremendously also if you would drop down a comment down below let me know in the comments down below do you have this figure is it one that's on your list or is it a figure that you used to have either way let me know something down in the comments down below and if you would please give me a, a like a thumbs up and uh, would also help the channel grow so please like share and subscribe to this channel and thank you again so much for the, your su continued support so let's add to the action with action Joe Figs <laughs>